a big, furry, stripy tiger. Her stories were unmistakable, and for more than 50 years, the characters she created at her drawing board have been on the shelves of bedrooms and libraries everywhere in Britain. To anyone who's been read a bedtime story in that time, there was simply nobody like Judith Carr. One reason I'm still at it is because I started rather late. I published my first book at the age of 45. She was the children of refugees who fled Hitler in the 1930s, but it wasn't until she had small children of her own late in the 1960s that she came up with her first and most successful creation, The Tiger Who Came to Tea. It sold over a million copies. Today, the successful stage adaptation was playing to a full house. Families of three generations in the audience at the Queen's Hall in Hexham, all of them loved it. She was just somebody that loved children and knew how to get in touch with them and to touch their everyday lives with great books. More forgetful cats, more good fox dogs, and more gander granny, more, more, and. It's funny and gentle, but also it's something that you can imagine as a child, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if a tiger really came to tea? Judith Carr produced more than 30 books and was awarded the OBE for services to children's literature. Even into her 90s, she had no intention of giving up. Being 90 is not as old as it used to be. I love my work. She will be missed. Her legacy will be the stories that are read and enjoyed at bedtime everywhere.